Hi, my name is Chloe Reddy and I'm currently living in Almond, California and I'm attending EVK Middle School. This year, I'm participating in the Regional Science Fair. The purpose of my project was to determine which essential oils kill bacteria most efficiently. I chose this project because I wanted to see if essential oils kill bacteria as well as I know to. My hypothesis was that essential oils would reduce bacteria growth, but specifically out of the four that I chose to test, I thought that lemon and tea tree oil would reduce the most. I conducted I conducted this experiment by taking blood agar petri dishes and gathering bacteria with a stirless cotton swab. I put the bacteria on the petri dishes and then cut out small pieces of paper towels. I put two to three drops of paper of essential oils on the paper towels and then put the paper towels on the dishes. I then placed the dishes in a sterilized warm area where nothing can harm them. The information gained from my product project could be used by um, health food stores to guide them on suggestions they make to their customers about essential oils and their antibacterial effects, and it could also be used by anyone looking for a natural way to reducing or eliminating bacteria growth on the skin. Um, the results showed that um, tea tree oil did reduce bacteria growth and lemon didn't, so that indicating that my hypothesis should be both accepted and rejected. Um, but in all, my <laughs> The uh, sage actually reduced the most amount of bacteria and only grew up to about 5% of bacteria, followed by um, tea tree oil that only grew up to about 20%, and then followed by lemon and eucalyptus that grew up to about 40%. Um, now I would like to take a few moments to thank the people who guided me through this project. I would first like to thank my teacher for making sure that everything went smoothly and that everything got done. I would secondly like to thank my close family friend, Daryl, for making sure that I had everything done and have had everything that I needed. And lastly, I would like to thank you for watching this video.